Hey basic travelers and welcome back to Travel Tips Tuesday. This week we give you the lowdown on airport lounge access. But first, what is an airport lounge? You may not have known that these even existed, but they are basically a members only access to a separate area in the airport where you can relax, have a shower, get a bite to eat, or possibly even an alcoholic beverage. And this is all typically complimentary. You may think you can only gain access to a lounge when you are flying first or business class, but in reality, if you have the right credit card in your wallet, you may already have lounge access of some kind, and these perks should not be overlooked. Now, there are three types of lounge networks that we will get into today. Priority Pass, Centurion Lounge, and then airline-specific lounges, such as American, Delta, and United. So let's just get right into it. Let's start with Priority Pass. Priority Pass lounges are the most common lounge network access on the market. The top credit cards that include such access include the American Express Platinum Card, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Hilton Honors Amex Aspire Card, and the Hilton Honors Ascend Card. Each of these carries access with varying degrees of rules. But the lowdown is Priority Pass lounges and restaurants have over 1,200 locations around the world. And the restaurant perk offered in some airports is a very unique and generous perk, with every guest getting up to $28 off of their bill. Just remember to tip off the total bill, of course. But one small note, Amex cards that provide priority pass lounge access no longer allow you to utilize the restaurant benefits. Some of these locations can be downright basic, but others can rival some of the best lounges the world has to offer. Next, let's take a look at Centurion Lounge. The Centurion Lounge is a small network of international lounges, but primarily in the US, created by American Express, specifically for platinum and Centurion card holders. These lounges are known to have a great array of food and drinks that are influenced by the specific region that the lounge is in. They typically will partner with local area chefs to help inspire food and beverage menus. So no lounge is the same, which gives it a nice touch. The only major drawback to this network is it's relatively small by nature, and as of today there are only currently nine lounges located in the United States. If you have access to these lounges, and you are also flying Delta Airlines, you would have access to their network on the day of flying as well. You can gain access to this lounge with the American Express Platinum or Business Platinum credit card. Finally, let's look at airline specific lounges. Lounges like the Admirals Club, United Club, and Delta Sky Cup lounges are usually geared toward travel privileges with the airline that you were flying with that day. However, you can gain access to one of these lounges with a credit card. The Admirals Club, for example, is a membership that can be purchased independently through American Airlines, but it also comes with the City Advantage Executive Platform. The Admiral's Club typically features a basic layout of snacks and house drinks at the bar. You do not have to fly with American Airlines to specifically access that lounge, but if you are, there are agents within the club that are excellent advocates to help your flying experience. We have all dealt with travel delays, and when a flight is canceled or delayed, you often see a mass rush to the customer service counter. Given the small scale of people usually in the Admiral's Club, they are often able to give you personal attention during that. The next time you head to an airport, use an app like Lounge Buddy to see what might be available to you and what you can access. It should also be noted that depending on the lounge, you can sometimes purchase a day pass. This often doesn't look like the best deal up front, but if you have a long layover, for instance, it could be a great move. After all, airport food and drinks are not known for being cost efficient. So what is your favorite lounge network? Tell us all about it in the comments below or in the Basic Travel 101 Facebook group. And make sure you read our article as a follow-up to this piece for more helpful tips and stories. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next week, Basic Travelers.